Hello, Leo. Welcome to Karma on Deck. I'm Karma. This is your weekly reading for the week of July 21st. Leo, let's take a look and see what is popping for you this week. Here we go, Leo. Righty. Four of Cups. Ooh, card. Ooh, opportunity. Choices and opportunity. Four of Swords. Stress. <laughs> Three of Wands. Pressure. Hmm. So Four of Cups. It sounds to me like you've tried to do something new recently, taken on some new opportunities, and you kind of wish that you could move forward with it. I'm thinking. Let's take a look further and see how this looks. Um, you want to take on some new opportunities, but you don't have enough information or there's a timeline involved where there's pressure. So I'm seeing opportunity, you meeting some new people, some pressure, but I feel like you're getting some criticism or maybe you're just being too hard on yourself and unwilling to take a risk. Now, here's the thing. I know that there's a lot of those home-based businesses that are going on right now. Um, it can get you really pumped, get you really excited. Um, make sure it's the right product for you or the right lifestyle. And if it isn't just a gimmick, um, I do feel as if you're feeling a little cornered. There's the Ten of Swords, and that's overcommitment. That's like someone losing a job would be a really good example, like COVID um, or restricted employment. So you're not making as much, and suddenly the house that you could afford before, or the car, the level in which the luxury you had um, may not be as easy as it once was. I see that you're looking for solutions. You have the Eight of Swords. I call that my batting cage. He's literally got blinders on swords in every direction where he's not sure how he can make things work, how he can get them to untangle, how he can work out what he needs to do to get the end result. I do see this might have to do, and there it is, I was seeing that in my head, the two of coins, which is a collaboration or a business partner. So I pick that up on the back row that there might be some decisions that you have to make in regards to your money, maybe regards to your finance or investment, maybe taking on, I'm, I'm picking up the home-based business thing or, or small business where you're doing something on your own. Now, right now, entrepreneurs are definitely thriving. Um, my clients that are business owners are coming to me going, surprisingly, things are working out better than I thought they had because they're redesigning how they're doing things and using a different, um, a different approach to how they deliver their service or their business, right? But I see that you're doing some deep reflection in regards to this. You are seriously wondering whether you should be starting over at this point. We do have the Justice card and the Magician. Two or three things that could be going on with that. Maybe you're going to a public venue. Um, maybe you are expected to speak or you're attending a speech or seeing someone who's for you. Um, but the Magician and the Justice card usually is our expectation to start speaking about something we have an expertise in or talking about things that are legal matters. The Magician is on a stage. You might find yourself being asked to speak if that's in a public forum, online, or in public, it might just be you're going to see a speaker. It's kind of a little bit of a dynamic here. I will tell you the same thing that's going on for uh, cancer was the Six of Swords. That's bleeding a little bit over into your reading, of course, for your cusp people. And any time a sign follows another, you see some similarities. The Six of Swords is the storm passing. I feel like it's a sign for you to pay attention to after this week, but that this might be a little bit of a tumultuous time. You're definitely feeling pressure, you know, the four of swords and then the three of wands. You might be getting some criticism from outside people. You may be feeling as if you're on the hot seat or being watched. Don't let anybody pressure you. That's one thing that I've learned about, you know, I do have some friends that did some small home-based businesses or the multi-level marketing or the, you know, some people call them pyramid, but I didn't get in when they did. And I saw them making a lot of money and market was saturated. But then there's other times where it feels like the right moment. I just don't have the savvy for that to speak to it, but it feels like that. You might be coming into something that's going to be a great opportunity for you. Two of coins, great opportunity. The fool card, which is a crossroads. You just have to decide whether it's a fit for you because right now you're looking at the two of swords, which is indecision. Analysis, paralysis. Now, Woo, whether this was something that'll work out for you or not, I see the Knight of Swords. You're worried about making an impulsive decision. That's something to sit with. If you want to book your one-on-one, -on -one, you know how to do it, karmaondeck.com. This is your uh, Leo. I don't know why I'm hearing Sagittarius is in my head. I was thinking about a Sag. 
this is your Leo moon. Look. Queen of Swords. The Hermit. Evidence. Nine of Swords. You sling up. You got the Justice card too. It's all coming really fast. Let me slow down. Queen of Swords, the Hermit. Nine of Swords, Justice card, and the Five of Cups. So the Hermit card means going into isolation. Think monk. Think giving yourself some privacy and private time, some quiet to think. So it often sometimes means evidence. You've got the tree of life, crystals, knowledge. It's a bridge and an eye glass, spying glass. There's books and scrolls. Old man. All the things having to do with wisdom. So queen of swords, decisions, wisdom, staying up at night. You might just be sitting in a little spin, like a feedback, a negative feedback where you're feeding this worry the justice card having to do with the contract, walking away from everything you know. Everything feels like you are thinking everything is going to change. We have the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Cups. There's a lot of love and relationship stuff going on. Ten of Cups, celebration, Ace of Pentacles, which is money. Don't take on more than you can handle. Okay, Make sure you're learning to say no. We have the Eight of Pentacles, repeating lesson. Okay, We have the Two of Cups and the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords can often bring us to a place of isolation. It can bring us to a place of, you know, worry, um, not wanting anybody to know our business. Sometimes the Ten of Cups and the Four of Swords together means that we're in isolation because we don't want anybody to know our business. And we put up a little bit of platitudes. How are you? I'm fine. Because you don't want anybody to know what's going on on the back end. I do see at the core that Leo's a little bit overwhelmed. There is a lot more balance in your life than you think there is. You have the wheel of fortune, which is fate, turning the wheels behind you, getting you in alignment. You're feeling as if there's opportunity all around you, and you're trying to have a positive outlook, but you don't want to be duped, and you don't want to be, you're overwhelmed at core right now. But this is indicated by the seven of cups. Curious about medical issues with uh, Leo right now. Two of cups. And then the strength card both indicate medical illness or medical concerns. I'm not seeing illness because I'm not seeing the tower card, but definitely see the medical having a strong um, imagery in the readings that's popping up. So maybe you have some medical questions that you want to have handled, but they are in balance. So it's not something that's going to seemingly overtake. Um, Three of Cups is celebration, though. Um, Good times are on the way. I do see some Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Two of Cups, um, and the Strength card, Strength Summertime. A lot of these things are in balance for you. So you may have a lot going on, but you might be having a really good time in the mat while you're still on the phone handling something, you're at an amusement park. But it just feels like things are in balance for you. A lot of prosperity is on its way, and indicated by the Ace of Coins. Keep doing what it is you're doing. There is some fullness. I do love the Two of Cups when it comes to relationships because it always tells that there, there's a strong balance of divine feminine, divine masculine, a good time, mutual respect. Let's pull a card for you, for you from Divination of the Ancients. That'll tell us what your message is and what you need to focus on. Let me know where you are in the world. Tell me how you feel your reading went. Like, subscribe, and share. Peace. All right, let's see what your card is for the week. Seeker. Dowsing rods tell me you are a seeker. You're seeking. Let's see what it says in seeker. See what the author has to say. Skip the whole page twice. Scrying. Dowsing rods. No wonder I couldn't find it. I didn't skip it. I just was looking in the wrong place. Maybe that's a message for you. Maybe you're looking in the wrong place. Maybe you're seeking signs, symbols, and possibilities from things that are without when the true cue and clue is the Let's take a look and see what it says here. The dowsing rods have sought you out to announce that your search is almost over. Okay. You've spent long 
time, long enough, looking in the wrong places. I just said that. Woohoo. Okay, great. So you have spent a long time looking in the wrong places. Now is the moment to sense through your heart, using the natural elements as your guide. Doing so will point you in the right direction. Walk your path of destiny, aware of the signs and the flow of water beneath the depths of the earth. Create no attachments to the paths of others, for they may lead you to far more barren land. No, nope, their path might not be, whether you're intertwined or not. Tough lesson to learn. You seek your path, and they seek theirs. Nature will guide you, so get out in it and seek out the watering holes, the streams, the rivers, and find what you need to reflect. Hopefully that gives you some insight. Incantation for the week is I seek it here, I seek it well, but still I ask, where doth it dwell? The answer I find is flowing within and all around me. The streams and lakes manifest all I Seek and you will find, knock and it shall be opened. Who are you following though? Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. It looks to me like the next sign coming up is Virgo. Love and light, guys. I always say the answer to every question is love. Hold on it, y'all.